What's going on, guys? It's been a while. It's been a minute. It's been a long, long minute. And uh, finally back on this channel. It's been a while uh, since my last upload. It's been uh, it's been roughly three months since my last upload. I have been uploading some shorts here and there. Um, I also have some coming out soon as well. Pretty much those shorts are just for like, you know, shorter versions of my long form content that I post on this channel. Um, but yeah, today is the day where I kind of go through my comments from the Elgato video, uh, showing you guys pretty much how I use my setup now. Since my Elgato setup video, we went over how to put the Elgato AC60X together and the initial setup. But in today's video, gonna go over some things, some comments and questions and concerns that people have asked me on those videos. And I'm gonna have everything in this video and I'm gonna show you guys what I did to finally be able to stream and record without having any type of issues at all. So if you guys want more videos like this, if you guys have any questions or concerns later in this video, please drop in the comments down below. I love to, of course, reply to those as I've done on all my videos. Um, So yeah. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Undefined Print here today. Um, back with another video for you guys. So welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, this is where we unbox the latest and also latest products, giving you guys my 100% honest review on them so that you can make a wiser and better choice on purchasing these products. Now, in today's video, we aren't reviewing any, any, a product, sort of, in a way. We are just going over the Elgato HD60X. And if you have the S, I'm pretty sure it works the same way. So as I stated in the intro intro, <laughs> Of this video here today uh pretty much what we're going to be going over is the questions and concerns that people have had i have I've already answered and dealt with but i'm going to go over a few of them today i'm going to show you guys what i did and how i have my setup on streamlabs or if you use obs um pretty much the same thing obs streamlabs obs it's literally the same thing so uh what i use is streamlabs obs and before we go onto the computer, I'm going to address a few things first. The latest comment I have on my Elgato view up here right here. So I'm going to address this right now. So, bro, I'm going to go over the Chatlink Pro. So I don't know if you exactly watched my video thoroughly, but um, I guess since you're having problems, whatever, I will address this. So if your Chatlink Pro isn't picking up your voice at all or the 4K capture, you most likely don't have your inputs incorrectly. Um, Even if you... I guess if you do have your inputs correctly, if you have your HDMI input correctly, uh, both in and out, you're connected through USB-C uh, through your computer, you really shouldn't have a problem. And if it's not, and for the Chatlink Pro, make sure you're actually putting in the wires correct because if you're having that problem, I would say rule of thumb is to just switch out the components. Maybe you're putting it in wrong. Rewatch the video because I kind of went into it very, very easily and clearly for you uh, and for everyone else out there. And if you have it on analog, um, that should be the pretty much the only way um, to do it. Now, the way I have it, I have mine set now to HDMI. Now, we will get into that later and how I'm using HDMI only. So without further ado, we're going to go right ahead and go straight into my PC. uh what's going on guys so this is literally my third attempt at recording this so what you're gonna see in this video today honestly is pretty embarrassing for my part and i'm really really sorry about this i i genuinely am um and i i made the mistake two time of not recording this the screen i did record the screen but once i added the elgato capture device um it it it, it overlapped the display capture mind you i didn't even have a display capture at the time screen recording this so i'm really sorry about that um so if i come off not as energetic not enthusiastic at all it's because i'm i'm pretty pissed off about this how i made a mistake three times in a row or two three times in a row pretty much so i'm gonna go through this as quickly as possible for you guys i'm gonna keep this short and sweet to the point this is pretty much all you have to do right this is how i have my setup and this is what i want you guys to do if you have your elgato game capture device already connected here oh it's already here right literally all you have to do is this right so what you want to do if you have Elgato game capture in your mixer here. First step, mute it. Mute the audio. Boom. Right? You might say, oh, why do you have to do that? I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to, I want you to follow these steps. If you want your setup exactly like mine, so you don't have any more audio echoes or anything like that, delays, that's literally what I was experiencing the whole entire time since I bought an Elgato. I experienced so much audio delays every single time recording or streaming, and it drove me insane. So I'm bringing you guys the solution to this problem, right? Here's all you have to do, right? 
boom after you mute the audio i'm pretty good i'm pretty sure you guys know how to add of course the elgato game capture device already know how to do that you should know how to do that from my last video if you don't know if you go to sources you click on video capture device you click add source and boom i already have this set up if you need to add a new source you add a new source and then boom right but we're not going to do that right now because we already have that you might say to yourself okay so what's the next step literally the next step go to sources from this menu here you want to go down not do not click on audio output capture that is where i failed that because many other youtubers that i've seen say to add an audio output capture no this is not what you not this only support this will support desktop audio that's it you want to click on audio input capture why because your algorithm device is connected through a usb what does this support here built-in microphones usb microphone other usb devices this is all you need i'm gonna keep i'm gonna flow with it add source as you can see here i already did these things of course you're gonna be this is your first time doing it it's, you're going to have a new source. Add audio input capture. Add source. Now you have this here. Now you say to yourself, okay, what do we do next? Boom, you go to your mixer. You go to audio input capture. You click on properties. This, I already have it here. It's going to be set to default. From the drop down menu, you will see your Elgato game capture card. Whether you have the HD60X or the HD60S. You're going to click that. Boom. Make sure this is on monitor and output. Do not have it on monitor off. You want to be able to hear. I mean, you could have it on monitor off, but my suggestion, of course, will be to monitor and output uh, so that you can actually hear it for yourself. And you can lower the volume, the levels of it while being able to hear monitor the levels of, of it in your mixer. Literally all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Literally. That's it. You don't have to mess around with anything else that's in here. Anything else in here. Now, another thing you want to do. Cause you're gonna notice when you have your game on i don't have my game on right now when you do have your game on it's gonna come out through your desktop audio you want to mute your desktop audio mute it boom you're done boom you are done now do you say to yourself well i can hear my game and i can hear things through my pc but i want my audience to also hear things like music in the background things like that you may see to yourself okay if i have my desktop audio muted what should i do instead perfect solution right here let's say you have Sp i'm gonna open up spotify let's say you have spotify open up right let me drag this down so you guys know i have spotify opened up right over here boom right what do we do next you may say to yourself okay you're gonna go here you're gonna go to add sources right you go back to here click on add source scroll down on streamlabs obs on obs i'm not sure exactly how this looks I mostly use Streamlabs, so you're gonna click on where it says application audio capture. Click on that, it's in beta. It captures the audio coming from a specific application. You say to yourself, okay, cool. All you gotta do is add source. Look, I already have Discord on here. If you wanna add your Discord chat, boom. You're gonna click on application audio beta. Add the source. Now you say to yourself, okay, let's go in here to your mixer. Let's go to the properties of the application audio capture. It's gonna capture audio from whatever application you have opened up. Property. I already have it on on Spotify already. Cause I've already done this three times in a row already um you can look you have it might explore chrome you have chrome whatever you have opened up media player uh youtube in the background what do i have this will capture the audio coming from that application and from there you want to click on you can have it on audio monitor off but if you want to monitor that audio you're i mean you're really going to hear the audio of course obviously but if you want to have um if you want to have that output it to your audience of course you can always click on monitor uh monitor and output so this is what i have right i'm gonna go to my regular live scene this is this is how my live scene will look when i'm streaming or recording whatever it may be i have application audio beta here uh property i have it on monitor and output because i want people my audience to hear my the music in the background or whatever is in the background at all and I just keep desktop audio muted. Now I can separate everything. You want your Discord, you do the same thing. You just rename, that's it. Then you have your levels here. You just put it down here, over here, whatever it may be. Bounce it out, make sure everything's good. Do some tests by recording, watching it over, listening to it back. If it sounds good, boom, that's it. That is literally all you need to do. That's it. You All you need is one microphone. You're gonna only need this, unless of course, you're on playstation and you have a playstation party chat going on you will need a second mic you're gonna need a second mic um it's unfortunate but it is what it is but you only will need just one pair of headphones it doesn't even have to be gaming headphones with a mic 
you need to be regular headphones because it's going to be plugged in into your pc and you're going to be able to hear your game and your desktop audio easy 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 peasy so that is literally it that is 100 percent it if you want to listen to your game and your pc audio this is the setup you have to do headphones plugged into your pc boom one microphone plugged into your pc boom a secondary microphone plugged into your playstation if you're going to be in party chat boom there's no need for a chat link pro discord discord is literally integrated with ps5 and xbox just use if you just use discord right you have friends that are on ps5 or xbox they can literally start the party or whatever it may be through your through discord and you don't have to be in the separate ps5 party no so you say to yourself okay if that's the case all i need is a pair of headphones literally all i need and one microphone and i'm talking to my friends on discord chat while playing ps5 or xbox recording and streaming it, it gets no more simpler than this literally it was so complicated to me before that now it's literally so simple the only reason you're gonna your chatting pro is if you're not going to be using or not going to be needing to listen to your um your pc all right and this type audio you're not gonna need it whatsoever and like i said my installation setup with my elgato in that previous video in that video that is how you hook it up chatting pro that's it would we'll like to go if you would like to know how to set that up please go watch that video i'm not gonna explain it in this video because that's just a lot more extra work i have to do as i'm already doing so much work right now recording this re-recording it and yeah so that's gonna be it this is this will answer all your questions and concerns if you're not able to hear anything it's most likely because you don't have your inputs incorrectly that's pretty much it you don't have your inputs incorrectly make sure to switch them out if you're not getting any video at all make sure to watch that video thoroughly and that's it i'm gonna have the link to the, my original video down in the description please go watch that before watching this video this video is solely based on how my setup is and literally answering questions and concerns basically how i set my thing up how you guys that had questions on mine on my video will this should be answered and you'll be able to record your pc games you're gonna be able to stream your, your pc games even your ps5 games if you're not using ps5 then why do you have elgato of course but that's the whole point of having elgato you will be able to do this now um i did mention one other thing i might have it later in the video if not it's not really that important honestly but i will actually just do it here follow these steps okay what you're going to do is go here you're going to want to go to your setting let me show you guys drop it down here so you guys can see you're going to go to system sound sound control panel let me bring it down to you guys see this right here this is your sound control panel recording you're going to see your game capture audio device here which is going to be your elgato 60 x or s click on it properties listen listen to this device now you will always be listening to this device even if you close the application your stream apps your obs whatever it may be you're constantly listening to the device but i me personally recommend i just not turn this on because if you're gonna be if you're planning on streaming or recording anyways even if you don't just have obs open up that way you're always hearing your game and stuff like that but like i said before you can have this on if you want to uh and if you do have this on you just have to um that's like a whole other step where you can do if you if you have that on um you're gonna be able to hear it but it won't you won't have any echoes you just there won't be any echoes because you're just you're you're already hearing it right now off uh, yourself so there won't be an echo for somebody in audio because you don't have desktop remember you have desktop audio muted so you won't have uh an a p like p your ps5 echoing or xbox echoing the uh the game audience that won't be a problem you'll just always be listening to the device no matter what but i had this off i just want to i just want to show you guys that just in case you guys didn't know and that's another way of doing things um but just don't really do that i just don't recommend it at all follow the steps i did in the beginning of all this that's all literally that's all. this will eliminate all the questions you have if you have more questions feel free to leave them down in the comments below section below and i will happily answer those questions for you and i feel yes that's gonna do it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed the video of course leave a fat like on this video this took a while for me to make um just because i've went through recording issues i've been on the channel for a long time but like i said before if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like on the video it helps me a lot i will be producing more video content on this channel um as this is supposed to be my main channel i've just been grinding on my gaming channel if you guys would like to go check that out uh i have a link in the description below and it's pretty much what it's called so pretty much the same name undefined print just with gaming at the end and go check that out funny videos on there some cool videos on there I do reactions i play more combat blah 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 uh and i will have more videos coming out soon i'm gonna be recording on that channel as well so make sure to tune into both channels this took a lot of work um like i said before if you guys know the video today 
please leave a like on the video comment down below what you'd like to see next if you want to see any more things that have to do with my streaming setup and the elgato whatnot really really appreciate it i hope you guys i hope this answers the majority of the questions because i have already answered you guys' questions in the comments on the, in that video and um yeah this is how my streaming setup is this is how this is a very simple elgato streaming setup desktop whatever you want to call it um just literally just copy what i did and you're gonna have you're not gonna have if you do have problems it might be something else i guess and maybe i can help you with so yeah that's gonna do it for me today guys really appreciate it peace out see you later in the next video